We're going to learn how to do a grid drawing. My face-to-face -face students are going to get a piece of paper with boxes already on it. Because I can't give this paper to my virtual students, we're going to make our own. You're going to get a white piece of copy paper and a ruler. They have an 8 inch by 6 inch grid, so we are going to recreate that. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to put it kind of on the left side of my paper, not all the way on the left. And I'm going to draw a line from the zero and make little dots on each inch. Little dot for the second inch, third inch, fourth inch, fifth inch, sixth inch, seventh inch, and eight. We're only going down to eight inches. Now we want it to be six inches wide. So I'm going to take my ruler at the bottom. And I'm going to go from the zero and make a dot at the one, and then the two, three, the four, the five, and the six. Make my dots a little bit more noticeable. The dots are going to come in handy for when we start connecting all the squares. Now I want to come over here. And try to make sure that my ruler is straight so I'm making a perfect box as straight as I can make it and I'm gonna go from the zero and make a dot at the one the two three four five six seven and eight now I'm going to also do dots at the top it's important to do the dots at the top too because it's going to make it easier for us to connect. So I'm going to put my ruler at the top and put a dot at the one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to use our ruler to connect the dots going up and down. So I can put this dot with this one here, put this one with this one here, that's why it was so important for us to make our dots because it makes life so much easier later on whenever we need to start making our boxes. Then I'm going to put the ruler this way and start connecting the dots like this. There we go. Now we have a grid, just like how the face-to-face -face students have. So after you've created your own grid drawing, let's make it easier by putting some numbers next to it. going to put something inside of our grid. You're going to go to Schoology Art Class, click on Project 4 Grid Drawing, and you see the area where it says choose which image you're going to recreate inside of your grid drawing. I have a lot of different students with a bunch of different personalities, so you could draw a dog, a butterfly, Wonder Woman, Black Panther, or Batman. For this video, I'm just going to do an example of how to do the dog. 
Sometimes when drawing, people can get overwhelmed. So that's why grid drawing is a nice little technique to do because you only focus on one box at a time. So like in box one one over here, this is box one one. So what is inside of box one one? Well, I have a little line here for the ear and a little line going down. And I see how close these lines are to the corner, the bottom right corner of the box. So I'm gonna recreate that ear. It's coming up and out like this. Then it's going down. Then there's something coming from the inside. And there's something right there. So all I did was draw this tiny little detail. Now let's draw what's in row one, uh, column two, which is this line going down here. So I have a line going down in this way and another little mark here and some parts of a mark here. Eventually, if I just focus on one box at a time, I'm going to be able to draw the whole dog. Yes, some boxes are going to be empty and that's okay. So I want for you to choose a picture. Choose whichever picture you want and you're going to focus one box at a time and recreate that picture on your grid. When you finish your grid drawing, you're gonna go back to Project 4 Grid Drawing, click on Project 4 Assignment, Watch Video and Submit Work, and there's gonna be an area up here on your screen where it says Submit Work. Then you're going to find the picture and insert it, and that's how I'm gonna be able to grade your work. Please do not send me your picture in a message. I can't grade it like that. It has to go here where it says on your screen, submit work. 